We have just had a productive discussion uh, on our mission uh, in Afghanistan and uh, on the new and different uh, mission we are planning after 2014. Because 2014 will mark the end of our combat mission, but also a new beginning for Afghanistan. At the end of 2014, the Afghan forces will be responsible for security across their country. This will mark a turning point in Afghanistan's history. The Afghan people will be fully responsible for their country's freedom, their country's fate, and their country's future. But they will not stand alone. The international community has committed to support Afghanistan in the years to come. Countries from across the world have already pledged their aid. And we in NATO will do our part to help uh, the Afghan security forces become sustainable so that they have the skills they need to make their country safe and keep it safe. We are planning a new mission to train, advise and assist the Afghan forces after 2014. The mission will be called Resolute Support. It is a year and a half before this new NATO-led mission will be launched. But we are getting prepared. Last October, we approved the broad framework of a plan for the mission and began more detailed work. Today, we took the next step. We have just endorsed the detailed concepts of our non-combat mission in Afghanistan. That concept will guide our military experts as they finalize the plan in the course of the coming months. The new mission will not be ISAF by another name. It will be different and significantly smaller. Its aim will be to train, advise and assist the Afghan forces, not substitute for them. It will be based on a limited regional approach based on five locations in Kabul and in the north, west, south and east. And it will focus on the national institutions such as the security ministries and the core level of army and police command. Over the last 11 years, we have given the Afghans the space to build their future. With this new mission, we will continue to support them. But ultimately, it is for the Afghans to determine their own future. That is what security transition is all about. And we are about to, to reach a key milestone in that journey. Today we also held a meeting of the NATO Georgia Commission. Georgia is a committed partner, uh, the largest non-NATO contributor to ISAF, a potential partner for our future Afghan mission, and a country which aspires to join our alliance. All this shows impressive commitment, especially at a time when Georgia is conducting its own defense reforms, reforms which are demanding and far-reaching. Today, ministers expressed their appreciation for all Georgia has done to support our common goals. They reaffirmed NATO's continued support for Georgia's territorial integrity and sovereignty 
within its internationally recognized borders. And they made clear that they are ready to support and assist Georgia as it moves ahead with its reforms. Our partnership is based on values. NATO stands for the respect of human rights and fundamental freedoms. So we look to Georgia to respect the rule of law, human rights, and the rights of minorities. And we encourage Georgia to continue key reforms and to conduct free and fair presidential elections later this year. 